Happy New Year from Fexter Life. It's 2018 and it's a brand new stage for gaming. January kicks off the fresh year strong as it features some much-awaited RPGs, particularly with one game that everyone just can't wait to get their hands on. This time around, the new month boasts new releases and a few ports, which you could say is a strong point itself, especially in this day and age of the industry where the market is flooded with remakes and remasters. 2018 is looking to be a promising year with this start, so let's dive right in headfirst with the City of Final Fantasy MT. Honorable mention, the City of Final Fantasy MT. Take iconic characters from the famed Final Fantasy franchise and pit them against each other in a battle royale fashion, and you have yourself the City of Final Fantasy MT. This action RPG fighter first started life as an arcade title in Japan that was developed by Team Ninja of Ninja Gaiden fame. And now, Final Fantasy MT will be making its way to the PlayStation 4 console as an exclusive and will feature the same flashy and thrilling combat from its arcade counterpoint, but with new enhancements and features. The game features four class types from the headstrong vanguards to the agile assassins, lethal marksmen, and the unique specialist. It'll have players square off in a three-dimensional environment where they can jump high, dash, and strafe with freedom as they trade blows with some incredible looking abilities. And just like in the mainline Final Fantasy games, you'll have access to summons, which can aid you in battle. The City of Final Fantasy NT looks to be a lot of fun, and you can expect the game to launch worldwide on January 30th, 2018. Number 5, Life is Feudal. Next up on the list is Life is Feudal, and it's a game created by Studio Bitbox. It is a massive online sandbox RPG with an advertised 21 by 21 kilometers of virtual land for adventurers to inhabit. It features a living and breathing world called Abella, which is complete with a dynamic weather system and day and night cycles, both of which have an effect on the realm's natural resources that are scattered throughout. Being a sandbox game, players can harvest said resources and create their own communities that can start off as small villages, which can then transition into fledgling cities, forts, and eventually into a kingdom. Players will be able to forge alliances with other player-held factions and can engage in war over territories and supplies. But that's not the only method of settling disputes, as opposing sides can also dabble in diplomacy for a solution. Likewise, being a combatant isn't the only role players can take on, as they can also set themselves up to be wealthy entrepreneurs, establishing trade and even their very own companies. And once making it big, can exert influence with their fortune. Life is Feudal is coming to PC via Steam with a tentative date of January 2018. Number 4, Le Grand Legacy Tale of the Fatebounds. Le Grand Legacy Tale of the Fatebounds is a JRPG inspired game from the studio Semisoft, and it's their love letter to the genre. The title features its own take on the classic turn based combat, in addition to an engrossing storyline. It has players fill in the shoes of its protagonist, Finn, a freed slave, as they take on a perilous quest to save his daughter, setting in motion a chain of events that will lead to fulfilling an age long prophecy which has a hand in the world's fate. All of this set in a land embroiled by war between the kingdoms Atlea and Fandor. It is there where players along with their party of charming characters will explore various settlements filled with interesting personalities for them to interact with, and dungeons that are teeming with danger from inhabiting monsters and big rewards, as well as battling it out with engaging turn-based mechanics. Tale of the Fatebounds will also include various minigames to help liven things up and side quests to tackle. The Grand Legacy is a PC title that can be acquired through Steam on the 24th of January, 2018. Number 3, Fallen Legion Plus. Brought to you by Yummy Yummy Tummy, Fallen Legion Plus is a fast-paced RPG that combines the brawling from Dragon's Crown and the button combos of God of War as described by its developer. The game was initially released in July this year as two separate titles, which was split between the PlayStation 4 with Sins of an Empire and the PS Vita with Flames of Rebellion. Each one telling the war perspectives and struggles of opposing sides in the world of Phenumia, from Princess Cecile on one end to Legatus on the other. Together, these games are being repackaged as a single release for the PC platform, hence the plus. As mentioned, Fallen Legion Plus will feature thrilling gameplay that has players control a party of four, with each member being assigned a certain attack type who is assigned to a button. This setup can allow players to dish out devastating and complex combos against their adversaries. The game also has a morality system implemented that is presented with cards and a split-second decision displayed on screen during gameplay. Each one can grant various enhancements to the group, but it's not without ramifications as their choices have influence on the story. All of Fallen Legion's 2D artwork that you see has been hand-drawn and reveals painstaking detail, and not to mention a rock soundtrack to get you pumping. The game was made available January 5th, 2018 on Steam. Number 2, Lost Sphere. Fans of traditional JRPGs, listen in closely as you will not want to miss this one. Lost Sphere is the latest upcoming game from Tokyo RPG Factory, 
and is the spiritual successor to I Am Setsuna. Lost Sphere features an intriguingly unique premise in that players will journey in a world formed by the memories of its inhabitants. This world one day becomes plagued with a calamity where memories are being lost with haste, pulling it towards demise. As Kanada, you and your band of childhood friends shall adventure across the lands to recover these memories, and by using your uniquely awakened power, you're the only one who can restore what was lost. Just like with I Am Setsuna, Lost Sphere also takes cues from classic titles such as Chrono Trigger with its gameplay. Featuring a twist with the old-school turn-based system, it sees players frantically position their characters in real-time during a phase as to strategically eliminate their enemies with efficiency. It also features these powerful mechanized suits of armor that amplifies a user's stats, and with its paradigm drive function, its wielders can discharge new abilities. The game sports highly polished graphics and a beautiful instrumental soundtrack as well. Lost Sphere is set to launch on January 24th, 2018 for PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch, and PC by means of Steam. And if you'd like to know even more, we have a preview of this game ready for you on the blog. Number 1, Monster Hunter World. Capcom's latest installment into the Monster Hunter franchise is the most ambitious one yet, as the game was not only developed to be bigger and better, but also made for a more broader audience in mind, meaning that the upcoming title has been streamlined and optimized in various areas to fit that agenda, doing away with the many obscurities and past frustrations its predecessors had. No longer will hunts be confined within a section of a map, or will players be required to stack points for unleashing skills on certain equipment and such. Hunts will now take place in vast, sprawling locations with plenty of verticality, and each housing its own climate and unique plant life and wildlife. From tiny critters to docile herbivores, and of course, to the prized monsters to be slain and carved from. With this dynamic world, fights will seamlessly transition between areas as the massive beasts, or yourself, call for a retreat or a charge. Monster Hunter World also boasts a number of new features, gear, and whatnot including new mantles with the glider variant standing out, an awesome slinger that allows you to pelt at foes and zip across obstacles, a revamped multiplayer system for easy drop-in drop-out play sessions with friends or other hunters online, and many, many more. Monster Hunter World will see the good hunt commence on the 26th of January 2018 on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles, with a PC release following sometime later this year. That's a wrap for the top RPGs of January. Thoughts on the list? What are you looking forward to? Let us know in the comments below.